Hey folks, I'm Mike and this is the second to last of the Drew Camden interview series. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking if I can post it in completeness and I am contemplating releasing this as and, and the Capper interview and the Lexi interview as a podcast, um, which would be much easier to consume than in two hour segments. Um, but I don't think any of you want to sit in front of uh, YouTube for two hours. So correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I kind of like this small question and answer thing a little bit better, at least for the moment. So uh, one of the things that really kind of gets my goat uh, is when I see people get pissed off at various famous pilots for not being accessible, for not answering your question. Dude, I totally asked you a question and you didn't answer and you're a stuck up jerk. And I asked Drew specifically about this and his answer was exactly what I thought it was going to be. But I think that the community in general may need to hear this. Uh, there's a lot of the community and there's not a lot of famous pilots. So anyways, hope you all enjoy it. You know, Drew, one of the one of the things that I have seen uh, kind of thrown around the forums and uh, in other forums is that like the Rotor Riot pilots are stuck up and they don't respond. And I think that there's probably a really valid reason for that. Um, but talk to me about that. Uh, it's just a volume game. It's just uh, there's just too much. There's just I. I know it sounds oh so many people. I just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, <laughs> and uh, I don't keep up with my mom. My mom gets mad. I don't call her back enough. So like, if I've got a spare moment, I'm gonna call my mom because she's been bothering me for not calling her back. You know, or I'm gonna do <laughs> something scheduled like this, or you know, I don't know. I feel bad. I wish I could. You get so many questions on like how to fix something. And I, I just wish I could help everyone, but like, you just see it and I'll see it sometimes and I'll just like, I could type this out, but I could also just like hang out with my cat for this one free minute I've got. You just start, you, you just gotta have some time for yourself. And I think Ashley, this... Go ahead. Ashley, like helping me for a minute, like answering some questions or, you know, stuff like, but it's just, yeah, it's just a volume thing. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it, you know, if it, like at the end of the day, how many, how many thousands of like, you've got 30,000 people that follow you on YouTube. Um, hey, I'm almost it, at 60. Okay. Oh, you're almost, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you've got like 80,000 people that follow you on YouTube. My bad. <laughs> I'm not quite there. Let's, let's, gonna... let's inflate it a little bit. <laughs> um, who, uh, but, but like, uh, you are personally in some way connected to tens of thousands of people and and yeah. like, you know like hey, so I'll, I'll 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 reflect to you um there was the i don't know if you remember the little hype train series that i did a while ago yeah hype train. Train. Um, yeah I, sh I showed that to chat a long time ago so yeah. you know there was one time where i was editing something and i I don't know how I got onto it, but I showed it to you and you like responded and you were like, Hey, you gotta, you, you gotta, t I was using fade transitions. Yeah. yeah, and, you did. and, and I was doing everything. The whole, the whole thing behind the hype train was it was on my phone. So it had to be edited on my phone. It had to be shot on my phone. And, uh, the, you know, you were super helpful in saying, just use straight cuts. And yeah. I, I was like, Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then like, uh, I don't know, a, a few, few weeks later, I messaged you and I got like one response and Sorry. Well, I didn't take it personally because you yeah. know, all I, all I had to do was look at the numbers and realize, you know, how many, how many followers do you have on, on Facebook? How many followers do you have on YouTube? And, uh, and then you add that to, you know, guys like Jeff, how many followers does he have on YouTube and Facebook? And like, uh, I don't know. It, it, I'll it, be it, honest. Something else happened. Like you, I was trying really hard to like keep up with everyone for a while. And it was probably even like, like tens of thousands ago. Like there was a person that, you know, reached out to me because they watched my videos mm -hmm. and I would 
respond to them. You know, I even sent them some like stuff one time. Like I had a leftover something video transmit or something. Sure. And I like mailed it to them and like, you know, but my responses started getting further and further apart just as I was busier with things <clears throat> and just like, it kind of like went off on me one time and it was like really hurt, you know? And like, I, like I believe he really felt that and I like right. felt really guilty about it and it's like it almost made me like afraid to like connect with people that I didn't have some other like if I didn't actually know you like I'm not gonna get too connected with you like just cause you found my that sounds just cause you found my YouTube video I'm not gonna like <laughs> but it just I can't I don't know I couldn't be enough of a pal and it was like this he was like really hurt and I felt right. bad. I'm like, and I, that's, you know, I totally understand that you feel that way. And I'm just like, again, you know, if I have to choose between catching up on your messages or my mom's, I'm going to try and get back to my mom. And I'm Absolutely. like late on that too. I mean, like, it's just, yeah. I mean, I have like 16 texts right now. I haven't even looked at. It's just, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I, but that, I, that just hit me. It just made me like afraid to like, yeah, you know, I've got to be careful with how like close well, I get to someone. And you know, the, a lot of the so I, I follow. I don't, I don't follow just FPV. I follow a lot of creators in general. Um, and this is something that that people like. If like go go watch a Casey Neistat video, right? Yeah. Like people watched Casey Neistat day in and day out for years, right? He was daily vlogging for years. People n felt like they knew him. Right. But if you ever see him walk through the door to his office, uh -huh. it says, no visitors ever. The police will right. be called. Yeah. Right. And same thing. I don't know if you ever followed Peter McKinnon. Um, yeah. His, his office that he shares with Matty Hapoya also has a sign on it that says, no visitors ever. Yeah. Right. Like these, these, you, you, it's easy to think. You know, like I watch your videos and I have some perspective into who you are, right. but I don't know who Drew really is, but it's easy to be tricked into feeling like, you know, who Drew is based on the vlogs that you put out. Um, I'm pretty honest. It's pretty straightforward, but yeah, but I don't know. I don't know this guy, you know, right. or, you know, some, so yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird thing. It's a really weird level of like, I hate to use the word fame. Well, you're so internet precious. famous. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, not even, you know, not like even. 60, 60,000 subscribers, almost there, almost 60, 60,000 subscribers feels like a lot for the, but like relative to like actual YouTubers, that isn't anything, but we no. just have such a focused audience. But like, you know, it's very rare that I get stopped on the street. I mean, it's happened, but it was like very rare that just like in a coffee shop, someone will come up to me, but like, you know, but you go to like a drone event. Oh God. Yeah. It's like when everyone knows you, it's weird to like walk around. It's kind of, I don't know, but I like, I like that I get to connect with that many people. Like it's amazing. I'm not going to like sell you this sob story of how hard it is to be a known drone personality. Like it's a freaking dream come true that I get to like connect with that many people. What I hope is have a positive influence on them, you know, inspire yeah. them to want to fly more. My favorite comment is, oh, I just watched your video. Now I got to go rip. I'm like, yeah. Or, you know, I found your videos. I The best. This is the best. So, I was going to say, in general, you got me into FPV. Um, that's like my favorite comment. But the best version of that I just got, someone said, Drew got me into FPV. I was scrolling through YouTube one night and my wife saw some guy in eyeliner in the thumbnail and she made me click it and I had never even heard of drones before. But, and I was like, Oh my God, what is this? And I got into it. I'm like, that's what happened. That's hilarious. If that's, that's true, awesome. I, that's gotta be an exaggeration. But if he was literally just scrolling through YouTube randomly and his wife was like, what's with the eyeliner? And then right. he just sees, freestyle for the first time and he's just like what like that's the greatest <laughs> life goal achieved i'm just gonna hang it up after that it's amazing yeah. <laughs> that is that is truly amazing it, now it is a it is in no way shape or form the same scale um but i'm like 15 away from a thousand 
Yeah. And I think a thousand's hard, man. Well, you know what's it, it's interesting that 500 of that has come in the last week and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, since and it, it all it it all has to do with Capper. Um, doing doing the Capper interview put me on to a lot of people's radar, and they then I had back content that they liked that they, so they subscribed. Um, yeah. But like as I started getting closer to a thousand, it was like this weight started settling on my shoulders. It's oh. like. I've got, and, 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 you know, I'm a public speaker. I've, I've spoken to larger audiences than a thousand people. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, uh, <laughs> anyway, I won't get into it, but I made a, a very nearly inappropriate joke in, on, at a company event in front of 1500 people, including, including the, the press. And, uh, it, it, it went over well, thankfully. And they put me yeah. on stage the next year. Um, nice. But so sp- speaking doesn't bother me, but it's this yeah. concept of like a revolving group of people that are listening to you uh, that that all of a sudden it kind of arrested my, my thought. And I was like, this is this is pretty heavy. Like, yeah, if you if you gain a huge following, then you have you have some form of very strange power and it is it's interesting so hmm. but i never thought about it like that yeah i and probably better that you don't, that you don't yeah um but uh anyway bringing it back to the the question yeah I, I i i don't take it personally when i message somebody like you or jeff or you know any of the red riot guys because and they don't respond but uh I have always assumed that that's not because they're complete, you know, jerks is yeah. because y'all are no, very busy at what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, Drew, um, you need to like, as soon as we hang up this call, you need to, you need to call your mom or at least text her. It's, I it's 11, should. it's 11 PM. So she's I'll probably in bed. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll send her a text. Hey, so I think that was some good perspective from Drew. Uh, it's just a numbers game. There are just too many people to answer everyone. And I've, I've kind of gotten a little bit of a taste for that. Um, I would like to point out, though, that Drew really, really needs to call his mom. Um, Drew, dude, if you're watching this, go call your mom now and just tell her that you're sorry for being a famous FPV pilot and ignoring her. Um, anyways, look, like, subscribe, and comment if you think that Drew needs to call his mom. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.